Hello everyone, it's that time of the day for a subsequent episode of Farming Simulator 17 Time Lapse. Now we are playing on Huda Huda range map, which you probably should know by now, also because of the thumbnail. This is episode number 44 and we are leaning towards the end of this season. Uh, there were times when we had all three types of the animals that this game provides. I don't know, maybe the, by now there are mods which introduce uh, more animals. But we are left only with cows. And I set a little goal for myself to achieve in this... Uh, gameplay series, a number of cows, at least a little bit more than I had in previous season. And in previous season, if I'm not mistaken, my maximum number of cows was 1070. So we'll see, uh, but I guess we'll try to have uh, even more than that. So what you are seeing me doing right now is I just bought a plow because I want to mer merge uh, these two fields uh, and uh, seed them both with grass. Uh, you just saw me 30 seconds ago uh, setting the helper to uh, seed the field with grass. But by the looks of it, as you can see, the textures of the grass on this uh, patch still remains. Although it looks like the field is uh, it becomes plowed, so everything is good from this perspective, but the textures remain. I guess it's not a problem, because on top of them we'll have uh, the real grass, so I guess everything will be okay. This is the first time I bought and I used the plow in this series. Because um, plows, as you know, give you the last 10% yield. In the default settings uh, you get 30 more percent yield with each of three uh, fertilizing states. Uh, but I disabled this function, so I use just one fertilization stage, uh, which gives me 90% more yield. And the less percent you get from plowing the field. And you have to plow it just once every three uh, harvests. But I never bothered with getting this last bit uh, of yield. Also, you use plow, they have a function to create fields. So you can create fields on patches of, uh, of land where there aren't fields. Uh, and you can merge fields with the plow. Although this map, most of the fields are unmergeable, because there are roads between them and um, uh, train tracks. So uh, we are bailing uh, this uh, second uh, little bit smaller field. Well, it's big on this map, but it's not the biggest. It's the smallest from the big from the two biggest ones. Look at the number of straw bales, of bales that we built with this baler. It's uh, almost 1200. So it looks like this um, uh, fertilizer is. Uh, Is 
in the way. So I am uh, completing uh, manually the seeding of the grass. Not that uh, we need that many grass uh, at the moment, but uh, still we will need it in the future. Also, uh, the plan to merge these fields was from the beginning, from the moment that I bought the first of them. I bought for two reasons, one because they're close to uh, animals and two because they are, they are mergeable. Now I'm trying to see all the patches to make a nice full field of grass. And it's done. Now we can pass forward the time as usual. The tractor that used to be white now is gray. And we are doing again what should be done to feed our cows. Loading the TMR in the double trailer. So it looks like soon we will be out of uh, silage. We'll have to produce some more. This one we produced from uh, corn chaff. Guess we'll do the same next time. Finally it's the day again, because you know me by now, I don't like to play in the night. Time to load some bales. Quantity of 
biomass that these cows require is increasing so much uh, it's it's already uh, the total of it is more than one million liters I mean straw grass silage tea and uh, power food if you add them up it's already more than a million and it will keep increasing so it's it's totally different than uh, ships you can have thousands of ships and just a few hundred uh, liters of grass I suppose it's realistic because cows require a lot of biomass okay so it's time almost it's time for the harvest okay now it's matured I uh, started the helper and we start to harvest this chaff. I increase the speed uh, just a little bit at 8x. I hope it will be enough to not uh, get bored. Because as I was saying, chaff is, has a very high yield. So you fool your tanks, get full your tanks very, very quick. I mean your trailers. Okay, we're still in the first batch of chaff. Now that I own these fields, I can go over them because previously I was trying to avoid uh, uh, driving the field because they weren't mine. This is the third load. 
we should have over 350,000 liters by now. So the display showed less because uh, it is fermented as we play. It's a continuous process of I think 20,000 liters per hour. So by the size of field, it looks to me that these two fermenters will not be enough to take all uh, this harvest. I guess we'll have to buy a third fermenter, which is not a problem, we have enough money. First fermenter full, now to the second fermenter. This, if I'm not mistaken, is the fifth double load, which means we chopped already uh, 6,000, uh, 600,000 liters.
And it looks like this will be the last double load for this episode. We are out of time. Uh, we will finish the harvesting obviously in the next episode. But for now, as usual, thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have any suggestion, leave it in the comments section below. Please subscribe and please come back next time. And I wish you a good day.